Got an air compressor as a gift the other day, and uh, I'm tickled pink. It's an Atlas Copco. The tank's actually made in Wisconsin. The uh, compressor's made in France. I don't know if you can make that out or not. Not sure where the motor is made. It's in the basement, just painted her up. It's about a 30 gallon. Need a little bit of work, but it's a vast improvement from, uh, from what I had. Here's my old compressor. Listen to how loud and obnoxious this thing is. The first thing I noticed with this is uh, this compressor didn't have an unloader. Your compressor moves the air from here through this one way valve into the tank. And after the tank's full, it shuts off, and this line is still pressurized. So what an unloader does is it uh, comes off this port and relieves that pressure. Here's my new pressure switch. It works with uh, 120 or 240 volt single phase, and uh, that's the fitting that the air is going to go through. Here's my old pressure switch. You can see there's no provision for a uh, loader on it. Could work fine though. So what I did is I got an eighth inch uh, male pipe thread to quarter inch compression fitting. I'll screw that in there and then I'll run some copper tube from that fitting to my pressure switch. So here's my copper tube. I have the nut on for my compression fitting. I have the compression sleeve. I'm going to seat this tube all the way and then go ahead and tighten this up. You can see that this top plate was opened up for this so you could access this uh, check valve. Here I have the motor temporarily bolted on. There's a guard that goes over this belt. And uh, here's the new pressure switch. You can see how I rode the line and actually have this temporarily wired. If you ever get a motor like this that says SPL, special rating for air compressor only. I was reading on the internet that uh, more accurately that means somebody probably lied. It's probably advertised as a larger horsepower motor than what it really is. But anyway, you can see there's a dual amperage there, dual voltage. This is actually a dual voltage motor. I'm going to rewire it to a 240 single phase. But it's good enough for now. I'll fire it up and I'll show you what this uh, unloader does. After it's done filling, you're going to hear a psh, and that's the uh, unloader hard at work. So you saw how the unloader valve helped release the pressure between the compressor and the tank. Probably helps it run a little bit more efficiently. The motor doesn't have to work quite as hard getting this thing going. And uh, that's about it for the compressor video. Thanks for watching.